Today, I'm going to walk you through the Thin Manager interface using Thin Manager version 12.1. If you're using a different version of Thin Manager, you may notice a few things that may be different, but the overall functionality should not be affected. From my desktop, I will open the Thin Manager interface. Thin Manager is made up of two parts the Thin Server and the Thin Manager interface. The Thin Server is a Windows service that stores the configurations of Thin Manager for access by the Thin Manager interface. The Thin Manager interface is divided into three major areas of interest. The top ribbon bar gives access to many commands and properties, as well as UI customization and global functions. The left side of the interface gives you the graphical interface to your main components that make up your infrastructure and network of servers, terminals, users, locations, and more. It visually represents the created groupings that can show the relationship between the components as they are used. The navigation of the component types can be customized by order as well as by icon if desired. Lastly, the main window offers deeper insight to the component selected. A tabbed menu system groups your component into sections of data and information for you to interact with. The tabs are dynamic depending on the type of component selected. Let's walk through the types of components starting with the Thin Manager server. Here you will see the Thin Manager servers that are connected or configured on your network. The green icon shows that you are in fact connected to the Thin server. The icon will turn red if I disconnect from the server and back to green when reconnected. You will also see secondary thin servers here in the case of redundant configurations. Along the top of the main window, you see tabs for configuration, licenses, properties, schedule, versions, synchronization, event log, report, and IP assignment. Next, let's look at the display servers. These are sources that will serve content to your environment. The sources are automatically grouped into remote desktop or RDS servers, IP cameras, VNC servers, as well as new container hosts. Containers allow browser-based content to be delivered without an RDS connection to a terminal, hosted by the terminal, or a designated separate container host. Clicking the plus sign drops the group to show the sources in that group, and selecting the plus sign next to each shows the terminals assigned to the selected. The red icon shows that the terminal is not currently connected. It will be green when connected. It is worth noting that right-clicking on a component or group within Thin Manager brings up a menu of common functions, including add, modify, and delete. Thin Manager operates through an easy-to-use user experience of wizards, dynamic to the component or group that you are manipulating. Now let's look at the terminals. Terminals are the actual thin clients that content will be delivered to. This can be a tethered or hardwired client or an Android or Apple mobile device using our ATMC or ITMC mobile applications. Display clients are assigned to the terminals based on need and authenticated as determined. I have my terminals grouped for easy organization. Dropping down the group shows the terminals which can be configured by simply double clicking the terminal or right-clicking and selecting Modify. The Configuration Wizard is where you can assign display clients, configure attached monitors, and even install modules such as keyboard use or badge scanners for authentication, and much more. To restart a terminal, simply right-click the terminal and select Restart Terminal. As with other components, the icon will be green to indicate a connected terminal. The dynamic tabs menu at the top of the window gives further options such as the state of configuration, the modules installed, and the ability to shadow the terminal to see what is happening on screen at any given moment. Unfortunately, my terminals are not currently connected and cannot show a live shadow. Display clients are your actual applications that will be assigned to your terminals, users, groups, and locations. This can be an entire Windows desktop experience or using Thin Manager's app link, deliver applications to a terminal while removing access to the desktop and other system features. This gives total control over who sees what, where, and when based on your configuration. To create a display client, 
simply right-click on the client group and select Add Display Client. This will open the configuration wizard. You are now presented with options to set up your display client. Select Application Link to lock into a specific application. Choose the display server that will host your application and the path to the application. Next are your users. This can be synced to your Active Directory by using the Active Directory submenu section in the Manage menu of the top ribbon bar. Users can be set up in a similar way as a terminal or display client using the configuration wizard. Each user is given different options for authentication such as password, PIN, ID badge, or even biometrics. Display clients can be assigned to the user upon authentication or the group of users such as a maintenance group. Let's now look at the locations of Thin Manager. Thin Manager can authenticate to a location just as it would to a user or terminal. Locations can be created to use GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or even a QR code. This can also be done in combination, such as a QR code scanned within a Wi-Fi network within a Bluetooth region. Creating and managing locations is also done through the configuration wizard as expected. Lastly, ThinManager allows for use of virtual servers through the vCenter server section of the tree. As you might expect, this is done in the same fashion as other components, simply by right-clicking and selecting Add vCenter Server. The configuration wizard will walk you through the setup. Thank you for watching this quick overview of the ThinManager interface. To dive deeper into some of the features mentioned in this video, please check out more videos on Thin Manager.